So for question five, we have, which is the equation x equal four represented in R2? What does it represent in R3? Illustrate with sketches. So in case you've never seen R2, R3 with that fancy looking R, what it does, it specifies how many dimensions you're working in. Like what, how many dimensions is the space you're working in? So in R2, you're working in two dimensions. In R3, you're working in three, three dimensions. If if it was R4, you'd be working in four dimensions. So if we're gonna sketch x equals four in R2, we just have two two dimensions, which is just the our x y uh, plane. And this should be very familiar with you. And you have the creates the line x equals four. So now if we're going to go from up from two dimensions to three dimensions, we expect what we just drew x equals four, which is one dimension, to go to two dimensions. And in 1D, x equals four is a line. And in 2D, it's going to become a plane. And we're going to see why that happens. So let's just draw the set of coordinate axes for 3D. So we have z, y, x, and we're going to go out four units on the x, and what x equals four creates a line on the x, y plane, similar how it's a line in here. However, since we have that z axis, this line is going to go up forever and down forever which creates that plane. So it's gonna be easier to visualize with a computer grapher, so I'll show you. So as you can see, this is two dimensions. We have our Y axis, X axis, and it creates that line that we just drew. And if we go up to three dimensions, We have x equals 4, and it creates this plane. But if we're going to look at it, the projection of this plane on the xy axis, you can see it creates that line that we just had in the 2D. But since there's three dimensions, this line can go up forever and down forever, creating a plane. 